Hello and welcome to the, the Sandbrook Adventures, where good morning from Napoleon, Ohio, and our view from the room at the Comfort Inn and Suites, where we've just spent the night here. Yeah, nice early start this morning. We've got about a two hour 45 journey down to Indiana and Indiana Beach. But I thought before we get on the road, there's the car, just over there, I'll give you a quick tour of the room just here, show you what it's like. Got a nice desk over there. I've not really used it to be honest, but uh, just I've got a desk. Just to say to people before we do drive, just bear in mind the windscreen is covered in bugs. I will <laughs> clean it when we get to the petrol station. Yeah, we'll be it's filling so up at some bad. point. Yeah, you've got loads of bugs. Oh, basically up at uh, Sandusky at it, Cedar honestly, Point. there was just swarm in the car. Yeah, there, there was a lot of bugs. <laughs> like. So give it a good clean. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's fine to drive, but yeah, yeah on the camera it's I'll not going to look good. great. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be filling up probably later on tonight, so yeah, we'll get that sorted. But yeah, nice little room. Got uh, two big beds just here. I say little room, it's quite big actually. Lots of storage. And then uh, nice bathroom. Oh, just over here. There we go. Whack the light on for you. There There's you go. big rooms in America, which is nice. That's what I do like about American rooms. Like, look at this, it's absolutely huge. Yeah, it's about $80. Um, for the night just to stay here. But uh, yeah, anyway, we're going to uh, get in the car now. We're going to make our way down to Indiana Beach. I think we're going to be going through like loads of cornfields and stuff like oh, that to get down sweet here. Corn, my <laughs> so yeah, we'll uh, get Stop some me. footage along the way. Let's go. Yeah, it's a nice early start on the road this morning. Um, we started at 8 o'clock. The park rides open from 11, um, so it gives us like three hours to get down there. Um, but Indiana Beach looks to be quite a small park, um, so I don't think we're going to struggle to fit everything in down there, even if it's quite busy. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, thanks so much for all your kind feedback on the first travel vlog on this channel. Uh, thank you. We really enjoyed uh, looking through all your comments, and yeah, it's always great uh, reading everything that you put into us, and yeah, giving us a lot of support along the way on this trip which is absolutely fantastic but uh, yeah so we're on the way down there uh, it's about 160 miles uh, in total this journey and uh, yeah we'll get some footage along the way of the scenery depending on what we really see I mean uh, we did the drive last night down from Cedar Point you can see where we stayed at Cedar Point over on theme park worldwide in the Express Hotel and uh, yeah that was really nice wasn't it there? oh it was lovely we really enjoyed it yeah fantastic and uh, yeah we drove last night down from Cedar Point about 90 minutes to that hotel in Napoleon, Ohio. But so uh, yeah, at some point we're going to be crossing from Ohio into Indiana. New state for me actually, never been to uh, Indiana. I'm uh, going to be crossing over into there this morning. And also tonight we're going to be doing a uh, time zone change, aren't we Charlotte? Yeah, we're going to be going back to four hours instead of five hours behind the UK. Yeah, so that's going to be uh, quite interesting. Is there going to be a sign at the side of the road or anything or oh, not? Oh yeah, I'm guessing there might be. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll find out. But uh, yeah, bright and early this morning. Let's uh, yeah continue on the road and we'll get some more shots along the way. And here we go then, so we're leaving Ohio now for about 30 minutes and welcome to Indiana, Crossroads of America. Yes, yeah, so you've got the big sign just there. Look at all them pallets stacked on there, Charlotte. Look at them, they're just in the back of his like boot. <laughs> yeah, like just literally on the back, like not even like a massive truck or anything, is it? That's funny that. <laughs> Now, I don't want to jinx it or anything, but I'm really pleased with how just quiet the roads have been so far. It's like here we've got two lanes and yeah, hardly any traffic. And we're driving on a morning on a weekday, you know, if this was back home, there'd be a lot of traffic, you know, especially outside of holidays and that sort of thing. People are just going to work and yeah, going about their everyday lives. But as you can see, um, it's pretty quiet. I mean, this is at 10 to 10 on a morning and we've got all this road pretty much to ourselves just here. I mean, I know we're in Indiana and it's not really that populated, I don't think, around here. But uh, still, this trip, we've not really encountered any traffic, have we, Charlotte? No, which is really good. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure we will when we get to some of the busy areas. But uh, yeah, also in terms of gas stations, you've really got to make sure you do keep your tank well topped up, especially in some areas. You don't see loads of gas stations in some places. Obviously, again, it depends how populated of an area that you're in. Um, yeah, you're always worth making sure you don't leave it right until it's near the bottom um, to fill up. But so yeah, we've got enough gas to get us down uh, to Indiana Beach, then we'll fill up tonight and then we'll clean the windscreen, won't we? Yeah, like this has all got to be clean because there's marks just everywhere. <laughs> it's literally all them bugs that were uh, up in our I will higher. give it a good clean. Yeah, when you buy like the Lake Erie, just lakes. So like, many bugs. Loads and loads of bugs. But so yeah, it's just really nice so far. Like even doing these drives more in the morning. And we planned this into the itinerary, you know, so we weren't just doing massive drives on the night if we have drove last night from Cedar Point to Indiana Beach it'd have been like over four hours so it's nice just to split it up 
um, and do a bit on a night, a bit on a morning. And he's been working really well so far and that's what we're continuing on with this trip. And in fact, this is actually one of the longest continuous drives of the trip this morning. So we're five minutes from the park, 1.8 miles away. And look at this Charlotte, like we're in a like, residential area. This looks really strange around here, doesn't it, for a park location? Yeah, it does. I'll tell you what though, we've seen lots of crops, lots of farms along the way. Um, but I did see a sign for a lake down this way. I know that the park is on the water, uh, so I'm looking forward to it. We have lots of uh, nice little buildings. Oh, there we go, there's the park. Oh yeah. Over there in the distance, there is a water park here too. Oh, it looks quite big. Yeah, nice location on the waterfront for Indiana Beach. Yeah, all these little houses around here. Quite a lot of single story houses you tend to find as well. Bungalows, we would say. Yeah, here's all the mailboxes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all on the side. But yeah, just around the corner. And we're gonna be at the park, so we got a little bit of footage pulling in. This has gotta be one of the most unique locations I've seen for a park. And like, I like, was just literally driving down the road here and yeah, got all these other different bits of accommodation on the side, like nothing to do with the park. But then here it is, Indiana Beach. Parking $20, I thought it was free. Ah! And here we go, we've rocked up on the car park, and yeah, it's very quiet here at Indiana Beach. It did say it was free parking on the website, wasn't expecting $20. Uh, maybe there's some other free parking around, but uh, yeah, we've parked right here at the entrance, which is it's good. quiet, isn't it? It is very quiet here, and of course, head over to Theme Park Worldwide, check out the vlog but yeah like i say we'll uh, continue on with the journey on this channel and uh, yeah we've got a time zone change coming up next and we'll uh, yeah be making our way up towards chicago tonight into another hotel and yeah we might see some things along the way to film might and stuff off that chicago town pizzas <laughs> <laughs> you never know but so uh, yeah we're here on the car park we'll see you later oh look a lovely clean windscreen we've been to fill up and i've cleaned all the bugs off hey that's looking loads better oh Thanks it does that, look better i'm sure we'll get more bugs along the way that are joining us for the journey but i can clean it again <laughs> but uh, yeah we ended up getting loads when we was up in ohio um, down by the lake yeah we've had our day at indiana beach and of course the vlog will be coming up over on theme park worldwide so stay tuned for that um we are now making our way on the drive up towards chicago Yippee! Hey, chicago town pizzas oh i love <laughs> chicago town pizzas we've got an 88 mile drive about one hour 42 from here um not too bad at all really um yeah we left the park about five o'clock so we're going to be at the hotel for a good time tonight get plenty of rest in and we are getting an extra hour yeah, that's the thing, the time zone is changing at some point on this journey, uh, which is quite interesting. Uh, we'll have a bit of food along the way, I think we're going to find a supermarket uh, and get a few bits in there too. Um, but yeah, we'll put in a little bit of footage along the drive if we see anything of interest. Oh, well there's absolutely nothing around here, just the open road and yeah, maybe the old farmhouse every so often, but lots of crops and cornfields and yeah, the odd building every so often but yeah Literally it's nothing else really need to make sure that you got some supplies on you and that's the thing when you're doing a road trip like this you really need to make sure you've got some stock with you in the car i mean in the back um we've got plenty of waters down we just in case we need them it's always making sure that you've got the supplies just in case you need them because you never know when you're going to need them yeah or when you're going to see shops and, and stuff like that something i have noticed though even in the like most remote places sometimes you get a dollar general store yeah which is really strange like you'd be driving and see nothing and then you'll just see a dollar general then see nothing else yeah we'll go in a dollar general and have a look we because will do we've not uh, not been in one before so we're gonna have a look somebody told me that everything in there is one dollar 25 cents but, that's really good yeah, i'm not too sure how true that is but uh yeah that's what somebody said so we'll go and have a look at some point there's the odd like house farm building and that's about all around here in indiana so we're about 30 minutes away now from the hotel and yeah we're a little bit peckish and we thought oh we fancy a chick-fil-a tonight and we found one and also a target just around the corner so we're going to have a chick-fil-a and then take you in target I'm so hungry. oh here we go here's chick-fil-a the original chicken sandwich. I tell you what, we love a bit of Chick-fil-A, don't Chick we? Best place for chicken in here. Beautiful. Here we go, let's lock the car up. Let's go, I'm gonna have a nice milkshake in here as well. Chick-fil-A. Oh, yes. Here we go then, welcome to the inside of Chick-fil-A. I cannot wait for this. 
And first, they just thought I'd show you the receipts because, yeah, uh, as you can see, the time zone has now changed. Yeah, we've gained an hour just here, but uh, here we go. So it was $11.15 for the meal, and I paid $2.34 for the milkshake. Normally, the meals come with a soda um, and you get free refills, but I upgraded for a strawberry milkshake because these are so good. Normally, like $5 on their own, so you get them a bit cheaper if you swap out the soda for a milkshake. I've gone for the 12 count chick fil a nuggets. I do like how they call them that. I kind of feel like you have to go up there and be like, yeah, can I get the Chick-fil-A nuggets? It's like they're just chicken nuggets. I got the waffle fries just in here. These come as standard. There we go. Oh, what's up here? What's happening? What? Oh my God. Here we go. There's a cow in here. What, what is going on? Yeah. Who's <laughs> been filming? Who's that? There we go. Photo opportunity. What is going on, Charlotte? I just came out the toilet and saw him. Oh, that made it. Here's me vlogging, thinking nothing's happening. There we go. It's what? karaoke night. Oh, is it? Yeah. I had some mics over there. Yeah, it's we saw. karaoke night. What have you got there, then, Charlotte? I have got the Chick Fil A deluxe sandwich with some macaroni cheese and some waffle fries. Mm, so. Can we have a little look at it and yeah, see what uh, actually sure it looks like in there? Yeah. Very viewers. Oh, there you go. Lovely. Mm, we love it in there, don't we? I love Chick Fil A. Mm, our go-to. So nice. Perfect time at the side of the road. I can't believe there's a cow in there. Oh. <laughs> here he comes. <laughs> oh, there we go. Where's he going? Oh, he's behind me. Hello. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Oh, there we go. Oh, he wants, he wants to sit down. <laughs> there he is. This has made our day. Oh my God, let's take a, let's take a picture. There we go. Smile. Ready? Oh my god, that was made our day. Thank you very much, Mr. Cow. Thank you. <laughs> One of the highlights of the trip, right there. <laughs> it's made Chick fil A even better. Just put any rubbish in the bin now. We've got a bit of karaoke going on. Hey. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Absolutely amazing. Because I'm not the only one vlogging in here. <laughs> Oh my god, what an experience there in Chick-fil-A. We'll talk more about it in a minute. We just wanted to get in about the drive-thru as well. They actually have people coming out, taking your order on the drive-thru, only at Chick-fil-A. One of the highlights of the trip so far, visit to Chick-fil-A there. We thought we were just going for a nice meal, nice, quiet, relaxed, but oh no, a massive cow came out first. That was so funny, right? I went to the toilet, and let's just bear in mind, let's do this. I went to the toilet, and there's actually a section to get mouthwash in the toilet. I've never seen that in a restaurant ever. Well, yeah. I come out, and then this cow comes out, sits next to me while I'm having a meal, and then there's a karaoke. And I didn't even know that cow was there until I Charlotte knew came over. I Sean and saw, so I came around, and I was like, what is this? <laughs> oh God, that was amazing. I love little random moments that like that. That was really funny. This is what this channel has been made for, for capturing these little bits. And that's the thing, as much as the big folks, of course, is visiting all the theme parks, it's these little bits <laughs> in between that we just wanted to capture on the way and take you along with. And when we said over on Theme Park Worldwide, come on to this channel for the full trip experience. It was these moments yeah, that, that, was that just makes it. But then that was amazing. But yeah, the food was great as always. Oh, I am so full. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, it is great, Chick fil A. I do really like it. Uh, one of my favourite places to eat when we come over here. I wish we had them back home, actually. <laughs> So well, there nice. was one back in the UK for we a period of time, to, we? and we went to it when it was there, and then uh, yeah, it got took away. But uh, yeah, I do really like the food, what they offer, and uh, yeah, it was just crazy that was. Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> Somewhere else that we really like when we come to America is Target. I love Target. And there's one literally just over here. There's a massive mall here, actually. I was just reading online. It says it's the second biggest mall um, in the state, which is quite, quite interesting. interesting but to know. Uh, yeah, we're only like 30 minutes from the hotel. It's early evening, so we've got plenty of time. We're gonna have a look over in, in there, shall we? We also need to point out. Out, we have actually changed time zones. Yeah, I already got it in with the receipts <laughs> actually did, when you're yeah. in the toilet. Yeah, because obviously that's the first time I knew I looked at the receipts and that uh, we changed the time zone. But uh, let's drive over let's and go we'll to go and have a look in Target. Fantastic in here. Here we go then, making our way into Target. I do like the logo. It's a big Target, believe it or not. <laughs> you got your cart there, Charlotte. <laughs> let's go. We did Walmart in the first one of these travel vlogs. So check that out if you haven't already seen it. But our target is just as fantastic. Right, straight over to the treats, of course. <laughs> I like how they got all the fruit there and the treats right next Soft door. French bread. What, you having one of them, are you? It's nice. Oh, what are you thinking? There we go. Got some bananas just in there. Oh, here's something funny. So when we went to California last year, I actually bought some of these King Hawaiian rolls just to have like bread and butter <laughs> on, but they've got, they had a really sweet taste to all that. We've got some chocolate chip muffins in there for breakfast too. They look nice. 
Excellent. Yeah, you can get all the alcohol in here. And something we did find out, thanks to all of our wonderful viewers commenting, was that, uh, yeah, alcohol is available in supermarkets in some states, but not in all of them. It depends on the state. So there we go. Now we know, obviously, here in Indiana. And then, yeah, it's fine. Oh, going down here, are we? Classic Coke. Monster Energy. Lots of familiar things that you can get back oh, home, isn't there, really? You can get a pack of 30 Capricorns for $8.79. That's pretty good, that, That's isn't good, it? That. Yeah, pretty decent, that. Yeah, I like Capricorns. You can get some juicy juice there. Juicy juice, apple juice. <laughs> I love apple juice. Juicy. Yeah, for like $3.50, we can get 24 of the waters just there. Yeah. There's a chocolate in here. Ferrero Rocher, I'm not a fan of Ferrero Rocher. You know. I like these ones, these are my favourite Ferrero Rochers, them ones, but back home you can't buy them on the road. Oh, not a fan. It's absolutely massive in here. And yeah, Target's not so much really a directly a supermarket. It's got a lot of other things in here too. In fact, there's not loads of food in here like Walmart, is no, there? No, it's like a small section. I love Walmart. Yeah, it more reminds me of like the Range or B&M back home, um, but with a little bit more food in here than those. But yeah, got all your garden section, have a nice barbecue. It's so quiet in here, isn't it? It's quiet. All right, what, 6.30 in the evening, something like that? The American flags. Home decor, furnishings, kitchen, Nespresso, everything. Charlotte with a nice trolley there. It's quiet in here. <laughs> it is, like, where is everyone? No, right. It's so quiet. Yeah, it's deserted. Yeah, I do love coming around and getting the full kind of American experience, yeah. coming in your Walmarts, your Targets, places like that. Shoes in here. Mm -hmm. You might have some, um, what do you want, oh, Crocs. Crocs? Might be some Crocs in here for you. Oh yeah, let's go and have a look. So they've got a big toy section here, suitcases, and a tech section here, laptops, TVs, cameras, all that kind of stuff. Not been in a Target for ages, I've forgotten yeah. what one was like, to be honest. It's like a long time. But yeah, there's definitely not as much food in, in this one, yeah, is there? Definitely. It's more kind of like, like you say, kind of home decor and things like that. Yeah, definitely. Now let's go and have a walk through there and remind ourselves of what it's like. Well, we had our visit there to Target and we're now leaving Indiana. And welcome to Illinois, the land of Lincoln, as it said there on the sign. How was Target for you, Charlotte? Target was good, but it's not as good as Walmart. Oh, right loud, loud. Loud. <laughs> so here we go. Yeah, I do like Target, but yeah, it's more of a, uh, like a, the range, kind of sort of homeware style. But uh, no, I enjoyed it. It was good to have a look around there. Lots of uh, different items to see. But uh, yeah, really 15 minutes away now from our accommodation. But yeah, welcome to Illinois. Nearly down at our hotel then now. Look at this massive train carriage. That is carriage. massive. Wow, with the cars just there. You'll see it better now, we're closer. Look at the size of that. Look at that. That is amazing. And it's only a small little barrier, isn't it there? It is very small. Right in front. Look at that. It's huge. That is crazy. Yeah, massive. And we have got a funny story, haven't we, actually, about a train. So earlier on, um, we were at a level crossing, and I think a train had broke down, and the last carriage was halfway in the road. Um, we were there for about 10 minutes, and we decided to turn around and go another way. But It was just stuck there, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. These are all the, the things that happened. But yeah, look at the size of that. Blimey. Massive. And after a nice drive, we've made it here to the Quality Inn and Suites, where we're going to be staying tonight. So we'll just get the stuff out of the car and make our way into the room. Well, I'll tell you what, that was a lovely quick check-in. It took like two minutes. See, hey, Charles, all the way down there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're in a different room. It's here at the Quality Inn and Suites in Harvey, which is on the outskirts of Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, microwave there, very old school microwave. And a fridge down there as well. And yeah, here's the main part of the room, just one bed tonight. It's cold in here and we can <laughs> blast it out. They love the AC going in America, don't they? Yeah, but uh, yeah, we don't need that. It's gone a bit cooler now again, now we've come up uh, further north. But uh, yeah, here's a look at the bed. Nice and clean and very green in here. Mm. I like how you get, give you a little uh, notebook and pen just at the side. And this is very fitting for us, isn't it? Look at this, oh. there you go. I reckon that's Chicago South Navy Pier, it says, and it's got a picture or a ferris wheel there, which is very fitting for us. And here's a look outside at the car park. So yeah, park just down there. And yeah, there's another hotel just next door over there. We've got a Days Inn off to the left, and that was a Super 8 just there on the right. And then we're in the Quality Inn just down here in a big shared car park. You tend to find that a lot of the hotels are all together, aren't they, in America? Yeah, and then they just share a car park. Yeah, like uh, in the middle of us there. But there you go, nice little room tour. Here's a look over inside. The bathroom just here. Yeah, modern enough, got a nice bath in there. Just a little one. 
Well, there you go. Right, we're going to have a nice chill. Good thing is, it's not even 8 o'clock yet. It's going to have a good chill tonight. Yeah, have a good sleep. It'll be nice and fresh, ready for our first Six Flags part tomorrow. So there we go. We will see you in the morning. Oh, nice lamp there. <laughs> see you when we wake up. So good morning, we're on the road after our night in the hotel. We had quite a funny one because we were fast asleep and about 3.30 we had a fire alarm go off so we had to jump out of bed, get dressed, go out of the room and then as soon as we went out of the room it went off. <laughs> Literally we ended up in the corridor didn't we? It was so loud. Well you got to treat a fire alarm seriously, I mean I think it was probably somebody smoking in one of the rooms to be honest. It went on for quite a while. Yeah they did tell you like no smoking in the hotel rooms but obviously some people didn't listen to that by the, uh, by the sounds of it. Uh, but anyway yeah I had a good sleep in there and then uh, yeah it went off again about seven Yeah it did, I think that might have been like toast burning because I could smell toast but it was literally seconds and then it went back off again. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't believe it, but other than that though, we had a good sleep, didn't we? Yeah, I slept really well, the bed was really comfortable. Yeah, we had plenty of time in the room as well to really just relax and enjoy it. Really pleased with how the trip's going so far, feeling really refreshed. And uh, yeah, we're making our way up to part number eight of the trip now, our first Six Flags Park. Um, so this is going to be good, Six Flags Great America. Yeah, we're one hour, 14 minutes away. ETA is 9.44, that's 44 minutes before uh, park opening, no, 46 minutes before That's park opening. not too opening. bad. <laughs> so, yeah, not too bad. We wanted to make sure we get here nice and early for this one, quite a big park. Uh, we're going to be driving pretty much through Chicago, I believe, so we'll get a bit of footage as we're making our way around that way. We might just see some skyline for Chicago, but we are on a toll road just here. Uh, worth pointing out, the tolls all operate differently, don't they, Charlotte? Yeah, so the first toll we went to, it sort of took a picture of the car, but there was no barrier, and it said that you'll get your... Um, it by mail and then the one that we're on here it's just said that you've got to pay it online but it hasn't told us where to go yeah and then other ones you can actually pay in cash in cash food. so yeah it's quite interesting they're all very different yeah i have to look at it but i think it said on ways this was six dollars forty for this and it saved us like 30 minutes so, so we decided to do it definitely worth it i mean we wouldn't do tolls all the time if they don't benefit us but that certainly does but so yeah 61 miles to go and we'll get some footage of anything that we think you'll like to see along the way well, we've not really seen loads along the way. A little bit of traffic on the outskirts of Chicago. And yeah, I thought we might have seen a bit more of the skyline, but I think maybe because we took the toll route, we didn't see that. But so uh, yeah, it was showing uh, really busy if we didn't take the toll. Something I just wanted to mention that's very different to back home is how many billboards you get at the side of the road. I mean, you get loads, don't you, Charlotte? There's absolutely loads, and they're just advertising everything. Like, there's one there for smoothie bowls. Yeah, you get all sorts on there. Like, there was one just, and it said, your wife is hot on the first one. And the second one, it was like, your your wife is very hot and the third one was like yeah you know, fix your air conditioning for your wife <laughs> <laughs> which I thought was quite funny but um, yeah lots of road works going on around here as well kind of moving between sides of the road and stuff but uh, yeah we're not too far away now half an hour 33 miles I don't think we'll have any other traffic you get these big kind of water towers and stuff as well like when you're you know driving in America you see them in a lot of places and yeah just billboards everywhere to do with There's everything loads. obviously you get a lot to do with kind of like medical insurance lawyers all that kind of thing as well um but yeah we're uh, gonna be pulling into the parking lot in about half an hour for six flags great america wow look at the skyline just here looks absolutely fantastic as we're pulling in just here yes. wow look at that some big rides here charlotte to get yeah, on yeah big rides really excited with six flags parks you always get an iconic sign and here it is just down here here we are then just driving in Good sign is not too many driving in this morning, which is good. I mean, yeah, it is a weekday, good. so we'll see uh, how we get on here. But yeah, awesome skyline. We've got lots of coasters here to experience. Of course, first time visits. Right. Destination is on your left. And the vlog will be coming up. Everyone think about all what? But yeah, let's make our way in. Look at how many lanes there is coming into the so yeah, parking many. lot. $35 for parking. Luckily, we've got uh, season passes. But yeah, that's why you want to make sure, you know, you've got passes ready for these parks. In fact, I don't think we can go in yet. Looks like we're queuing up the stairs, or maybe it's a small queue. Look at that skyline though. Absolutely awesome that is. Fantastic. But yeah, here we go, pulling in. I love the big entrance. And we'll see you later on while we'll continue on our journey. Oh, look at that sunset tonight just over there. We've had a brilliant day at Six Flags Great America. It really has been fantastic. And of course, you'll be able to see the vlog 
over on Theme Park Worldwide. But yeah, back to the car now. Got a great parking spot right down here at the front. So close. Which is fantastic. But uh, no, it's been really enjoyable today. Really good, fun day. And yeah, we've got a nice drive ahead now. A couple of hours as we make our way up towards the accommodation near Mount Olympus. So we're going to be about a 45 minute drive from the park in the morning, which is good. So a little bit of a lion for a Charlotte, which will be nice. And uh, yeah, we're staying at Madison Airport tonight. So we'll get loaded up and uh, yeah, we'll get on our way. Yeah, we're on the road there now, so 116 miles from this point. We just left the park, so total journey probably 120 miles. Uh, saying it's going to take about one hour and 44 minutes from this point. Uh, it's not too bad at all, but uh, yeah, it's going to be getting dark shortly, so we probably won't be able to see much um, during this drive. But of course, if there is anything of interest that we can show you, we will do. And uh, yeah, if not, we'll see you when we get up to our accommodation for tonight. There's the Haribo factory. <laughs> How many gummy bears is there in there, do you think? That's quite cool to see that, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a Haribo factory before. Neither have I until today. Yeah, and we've moved into the next state now. Welcome to Wisconsin. Right then, whilst well, we're a nice easy drive, no problems at all, we made it here to the Comfort Inn and Suite in Madison. Yeah, the drive was absolutely fine, thought brilliant, you know, gets into the room for about half past ten, something like that. Uh, first, it took about ten minutes to check in, and then we went to our first room, it absolutely stunk in there, like we could not sleep in there. So we uh, went back to the reception um, and said, look, you know, we, we can't sleep in there. He then um, gave us a key to another room, which was fine, then we got to the room, what happened? And the keys wasn't working. So I went back down to say, look, the key's not working. And then he brought us back up and tried to give me a demonstration how to use a key card. <laughs> I was like, look, it's not worked before. I don't need a demonstration on how to use it. Oh, but finally, we're in our room, like 25 minutes later know, just after arriving. So long, but we're here, and look how big the room is. I think we've got a suite, actually. Yeah, I think it upgraded after all that. Like, yeah, it, it's okay. He's like, you know, when you're just on a long drive, like, you just want to get into your room, so don't you? Long. But uh, still, we made it. The good thing is, we haven't got to be up early or anything in the morning. We can make the most of it. But uh, yeah, quick room tour before we uh, get some sleep and have a chill. But yeah, desk over there two massive beds it's like we're in the, the attic up here look at this bear in mind if you are coming to america it just takes so long to check in because they don't know that we haven't got zip codes yeah. <laughs> it just takes so long yeah it does it takes Americans ages coming and it, it, they're literally in the room straight away yeah it's, it's, it's crazy though isn't it how long it takes and there's the bathroom not even a look ourselves here literally just step through the door there we go coffee making facilities here's the bathroom oh we've got a big uh, we got a shower is it oh there's yeah. a bath there's a shower bathroom shower Available uh, yeah. just over there too. There you go, lavatory. Small little toilet. But luckily, it's a nice room, nice big room. But uh, there we go. Yeah, it takes a while. I thought, oh, paying online and everything will be fine. Just give a card in for, um, you know, credentials kind of thing. You know, incidentals they call it. But uh, no, it takes a while. But uh, anyway, I'm going to put the camera down. Good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Well, good morning. We finally got in our room then last night. Had a good sleep. I can't believe that. How long it took? Oh my god! It just took so long. <laughs> It was crazy, but uh, anyway, we got in the room, and uh, yeah, the room was really nice. It's all there from the tour, and along with that too, we uh, actually uh, had some really good, fast internet last night, and that's like the pain of my life, really, on a trip like this, because I like to be really organised, getting everything edited. In fact, most of the vlogs from the parks, I, I actually edit on the night that we film them. As soon as we get into the room, I'll dedicate time and edit the vlogs. Um, but what's been uh, not great on some of the other hotels this trip has been the internet connection. So even though I've had vlogs kind of waiting to go out, it's just been getting them uploaded. So that's what I struggle with. You tend to find in America and a lot of hotels, the internet's not as fast as back in the UK. And obviously when you're a full-time YouTuber, um, it can get a little bit frustrating. But uh, you know what? Um, the internet was great there last night. I managed to get caught up, got a few things uploaded and edited, um, which is fantastic. But uh, here we go. We're on the road, making our way now to our next park, which is Mount Olympus. And uh, yeah, we're about 39 minutes away. We left five minutes ago, 40 miles to go. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be uh, heading to this park for the first time. Looking forward to seeing what this holds for us. Did you have a good sleep, Charlotte? Oh, I slept so well last night. Yeah, it was nice. Like, it was a good room in the end. <laughs> yeah, when we finally got in one. Oh, I just can't believe it. It just takes ages in America, doesn't it, sometimes? Check in. It's right. just the, like the address and the zip code. And it's like, we don't have a zip code. <laughs> yeah, really, they need like an option like, on, on their system. 
where it's just like international visitor. Yeah, yeah, every hotel it's like, where's your zip code? And it's like, we just don't have one. And then other people come in and just check in so fast. You don't really get this issue in major touristy places like New York or LA or Orlando, Florida. It's more like in places where they obviously don't get as many international tourists, but uh, yeah, it takes a bit of time. Anyway, we'll uh, get any footage along the way if there's anything of interest to show you. And of course, we'll be uh, driving up to the park shortly, Mount Olympus today. Oh, massive water park there called the Kalahari Resort. That's Look at massive. That. Is it under construction or not? I have no oh, idea. Do some work next to it. I'm not too sure. Oh, there's a big Ferris wheel inside. Look. There you go. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they got a few rides in there by the looks of it. Interesting. So driving down here reminds me of I drive so much because there's so much going on. Yeah, international drive, of course, over in Orlando, Florida. Yeah, it just feels like that. There's so many hotels and like tourist attractions around here. Kind of similar to what we're going to be seeing later this trip when we get to Branson and also um, Pigeon Forge as well. Um, but yeah, there's lots going on around here. Lots of big hotels, water park resorts. Like this is the Wilderness Resort just over here. Circus Extreme. Yeah, and this is uh, Wisconsin Dells, the area where we are now. Now look at some of these um, hotels just over here. Wilderness resorts take flight Another just over water there. Water slide there. Yeah, there's a lot going on around here. I'd never really heard of this area before. Obviously, Pigeon Forge and Branton are quite famous for lots of attractions, but not really heard much. Yeah, that's an interesting building. Circus Extreme, obviously some sort of circus show going on. A very fancy Domino's Pizza over there as well. That's Look good, at that. Isn't it? <laughs> take flight. Is that a flying theatre? It looks like it could be. Like, Skate room. Yeah, there's a lot of attractions around here. Yeah, it's really quite interesting actually. Make our way down towards the park. And this is all like five minutes away, two miles from the park. I had no idea it was in quite a touristy spot this one, but uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, lots to see around here. Here we go then. So we're arriving down here at Mount Olympus. And yeah, look at these big theme signs just over here. They're really interesting. I believe this is the accommodation that they've got. It's all in like different sections. Yeah, a little bit further down the road. The Flamingo Motel over there. Fancy staying there, Charlotte? I like the logo. <laughs> Flamingo Motel, no There is so many water parks. We must have driven past like 10 water parks yeah. like coming down here. America's largest water park. I, I doubt it is, but uh, there we go. What can we see? That's it. <laughs> it doesn't really look it. No, it doesn't. Telling me that's bigger than like Volcano Bay and stuff. <laughs> oh, I love it. But yeah, it's great around here. There is so many like, different attractions. I've not seen any little coasters or alpine coasters or anything around here. But so uh, yeah, look at this. Like, oh look at that over there, big uh, high ropes course. That's cool. Like all it's like fire. army themes. Oh, there is so much round here. Like, it's crazy. Helicopters, like a volcano just. Family over there. water park hotel. Feet. Another one. Turn left. Very cool. And yeah, here's a look at the park itself. Just pulling in down here. It's a Mount Olympus. I tell you what, it's got some good bits of theme in here, hasn't it? it has. The uh, Hotel Rome, just there. That's cool. And yeah, they've got the water park. Oh, look here at the big well. Trojan horse at the end. Hey, oh, this looks really cool. And here we are. We've arrived at the park. Well, we're all parked up here at Mount Olympus. Nice, easy drive this morning. And of course, the vlog will be coming up over on Theme Park Worldwide. We are really interested in Hades 360. As you can see, you got the lift on the first drop there. Well, it actually goes under the car park, under a massive tunnel, and comes out over there. Crazy, that. That is very interesting. <laughs> but so, yeah, we'll see you all later on while we'll continue on with our journey. Right then, so we're back on the road after our day at Mount Olympus. And yeah, luckily my spine is still intact, <laughs> but it was uh, close not being today. Uh, make sure you check out the vlog um, to see why. Yeah, Hades 360, that's all I'm going to say. Um, anyway, yeah, back on the road just here. Yeah, we've got a couple of hours drive. I tell you what, they're really nice area around there by the park, wasn't it? Yeah, there was so much going on. It was very touristy. You can even easily spend a few days there visiting uh, visitor attractions. You've got like mini golf courses there around a lot. there and lots of water parks we saw when we were driving in. But yeah, lots to see in uh, Wisconsin Dells. Anyway, we're now uh, yeah on the drive to our hotel. And uh, yeah, it's 108 miles from this point. We've been driving for about five minutes. And so uh, yeah, I got a nice uh, Starbucks just here. There we go. I was hoping for a strawberries and cream frappuccino, which is my go-to. However, unfortunately, they weren't in stock. <laughs> 
but we're in the drive through queue, so it was a bit awkward, really. So I'm you thinking, just had to get oh, something else. Just get something. So I went for a, a cookies and cream one. I'm not really a big coffee person, so I asked for it without the coffee. But they put it uh, in but anyway. The coffee's in there anyway, but it's all right. Like it's not my go-to, but it's something because I tell you what, it's been roasting hot today. It has been it? so hot. So so hot. But so yeah, a couple of hours again, as always. If you see anything of interest along the way, we will pull in and stop and uh, show you it. But yeah, because this drive is going to be all in daylight because it's only like 20 past five. We didn't stay at the park until the end because yeah, there was uh, yeah not really a, a full day experience there for us. But we got everything we wanted. So let's uh, again continue on with the drive. Very nice and scenic round here. So yeah, just thought I'd show you it. Like lovely open road, all the trees around. Yeah, it's lovely. I actually prefer driving on roads like this instead of like the big highways. It's just really nice, isn't it? Getting to see all the scenery as we're uh, driving around instead of just looking at the, the normal kind of big roads with loads of lanes. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, really scenic. So we're driving through Spring Green, Wisconsin here now. Yeah, just all the different houses. You got the railroad crossing just over here. Those are like little shops and buildings down here. And yeah, a lot of these houses have got the little chairs out as well, haven't they? Yeah, the houses are sitting on the porches and stuff. Yeah, all the mailboxes down here at the side as well. As we can see as we make our way down. Yeah, Spring Green. What have we got over there? What's that building? Looks like a fire. Oh, the fire department. There we go. Spring Green area. Fire Protection District, Art on 23 Gallery. There's a lot just, going on down here. I just really like going down these sort of roads, like off the main highways, just getting to see like all these different neighbourhoods. You don't know what you're going to see. Areas. Yeah, definitely. And we're going to be crossing into Iowa at uh, some point as well, which is going to be good, into another state. Yeah, we're getting through these states, so obviously in loads, we are. aren't we? Is that like a golf course over there, is it? Yeah, he's running with a golf stick. There we go, a golf stick. Yeah, a golf club. A golf club. A golf stick. Oh, it's a stick. A golf club. There we go, we're coming out here. That was uh, Spring Green. Nice little area, that. Here we go, looks like we've got some big aircraft coming up just here. Look at that. Oh, look at the steps right by it. How interesting is that? I love America, he's driving down the road and see things like that. Look at that. Is it like a hotel or something? I have no uh, idea. That is crazy. Big aircraft right there. Well, the drive's going pretty well so far. Sun's going down. And yeah, just thought we'd uh, show you this big bridge that we're going over just here. It's a very impressive structure. It's nice going over the water. Yeah, it is, isn't it? The Mississippi, the Mississippi yeah, River. The Mississippi River. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, wow. There's quite a few bridges passing over actually around here. There you go. That's the Mississippi River. That's cool. Great Mississippi. Well, yeah, we're only about seven minutes away, 3.6 miles from tonight's accommodation in Duburg. That's where we're staying tonight. We're in a daze in, aren't we? Yeah, tonight? we are in a daze. Yeah, daze in. Not in a daze. <laughs> we're in a daze. Oh, here's the sign. There we go. Welcome to Iowa. Hey. We were saying we hadn't seen one. Yeah, there it is. We weren't too sure if we crossed or not yet with it being a small And road. we're in. There we go. Welcome to Iowa, new state as part of this trip. There you go, it's obviously the river, that's the, the state line at that point, the Mississippi. Fantastic. Well, yeah, we'll be pulling onto the parking lot in just five minutes. And we're all checked in here at the Days Inn, De Burke. And yeah, it's one of them hotels where all the corridors are outside just here. And then, yeah, you've got the little balconies out the front, and here's the room over here. <laughs> quite funny because when we parked up we heard live music didn't we? Yeah we did, there was like somebody playing music down by the pool. <laughs> yeah they've got a little swimming pool with like yeah, it's someone playing a, a guitar over there. Here we go. It doesn't take us long to get sorted does it Charlotte when no, we're coming to these rooms. Straighter. Here we go yeah let's have a bit of a look around. So we've got the two beds just here. Nice big uh, picture up there. It's very autumnal that isn't I it? I like that, it's quite nice. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if that's Iowa or not, but or, or just some random picture. But I do like how it's three pictures. It adds something to the room. Yeah, and then it's kind of spread over them, which is great. Two nice big beds there as well. Here's a little behind the scenes look at all the tech at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Got my toothbrush on charge. We've got camera batteries on charge down here. Um, but yeah, it's been really good. The system's what we've been doing. Obviously, we mentioned it back at the start, but uh, our system, what we've done with bags and everything's worked, hasn't it? Yeah, so basically what we've done is we've put like a week's worth of clothes in the hand luggage bag, so we haven't got to keep lugging the cases all the time. Yeah, it's worked really well it for us. And then we just, when we've got a big bag of washing, we'll get that done and then refresh the cases that way. Yeah, and I've got my big tech bag with everything. We get that extension lead out, plug it in. Extension lead when you're on holiday. Yeah, it's well worth it, especially when you've got loads of tech like us. But uh, yeah, it's nice. 
right, it is old school in here, but uh, yeah, it's nice, like, it's all right, this is, it's clean, that's the main thing, you know, you want clean rooms, like where we were last night, when we walked in, it stunk, we thought, yeah, we need to move, um, whereas this one, yeah, it's nice, clean, got a table over here, swivel, um, little sofa just over there, I mean, it's quite old school in here, but um, yeah, you get what you pay for, it's clean, and that's the main thing, really, yeah, isn't it, for it's us? it's clean, that's all that matters. Yeah, we get a Wi-Fi, seems like it's going to be all right here as well, which is good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ironing board over there. Yeah. <laughs> got a microwave. We got a fridge down there. We got a big TV. And yeah, here's a look at the, the sink area. It's quite funny, isn't it? They've got the sink area in here. That's nice how it's been made into like the car. Yeah, that's the sort of thing they do like on cruise ships, I believe. That's I mean, nice. they've really been on a proper cruise ship, but yeah, I think that's the sort of thing that they do. And yeah, just over here is a look at the bathroom. Probably have a bath tonight, actually. It's a bit small, the bathroom. They're all small, these baths, aren't they, in these rooms? But tiny. Yeah, I'm going to have a, have a bath in there tonight. Mm. Why not? Have a bit of a chill out. But uh, there we go. We have a bit of a relax now. Enjoy it. It's like just gone, what, like 8 o'clock, I think, something like that? Yeah, it has. Yeah, so we've got loads of time. Six. Yeah, plenty of time just to chill out, enjoy it. That's the thing. With this trip, it's just been planned so much better than my 2019 trip. Like, just have a nice relax in the room now. Fresh yeah. for in the morning. Yeah, that's the thing. And we're off to Lost Island tomorrow. Brand new theme park that only opened last year. Uh, I think it's about an hour or so away from here, so not too bad. So we'll get some footage along the way. And we're also coming towards the end of this travel vlog as well. But don't worry, there's many more coming up. We'll see you in the morning. And before we get on the road again, I just thought I'd show you here on my laptop because I was just having a little look at the roofs and yeah, show you where we are so far. So obviously we started down there at A, travelled all the way through Pennsylvania, of course Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, made our way through Wisconsin and now we're over here in Iowa which is just over here. And uh, yeah, we're visiting Jay tomorrow, which is Lost Island. Imagine if that was the name of the theme park. Uh, and yeah, we're about an hour away. So we're just here, we crossed over the state line. So yeah, things are going really well so far. See you in the morning. Well, good morning. Had a nice refreshing sleep just there, didn't we, Charlotte? Yeah, I slept really well. All ready for another day and of course, another theme park. We're making our way to the 10th park of our trip today. And this is a brand new park that only opened last year. It's called Lost Island. In terms of where it is, um, it's 88 miles from the hotel um, where we stayed last night, about an hour and 25 minutes journey. So we've just set off a few minutes ago and we're making our way now. But uh, yeah, we'll get any footage along the way of anything of interest. We've just been past a Best Buy actually. Who remembers when there was Best Buy back in the UK? It only lasted a few years, but there was one not too far from us in Derby. And they used to go there quite a bit. It's like selling all tech and that sort of thing, but I don't think it really took off back home. But yeah, we just couldn't be past a, uh, a Best Buy there, which is quite interesting. But uh, yeah, we'll make our way down here to the Lost Island. Looking forward to this. So we've been driving along down the road and we saw a sign for Wendy's. <laughs> now, if you saw our other travel vlog, we went into Wendy's and I had the chilli and there was big chunks in there and you guys have let me know that it's leftover beef burgers that they've not used. I will be staying well clear from Wendy's. That is horrible. I'm so glad that I didn't eat it. Oh, Every not very Wendy's good. Every Wendy's that we go past now, Charlotte's like, oh, I'm not going in there. Don't take me again. What it was though, I wanted a jacket potato from Wendy's because I wanted to, I'm really like dying for a jacket potato and they just didn't have any in there. So I was like, oh, I'll go for the second best thing. I'll get the chili and I get left with like leftover beef burger chili. I won't be having that again. <laughs> Not much to see along this road. Very There's long, literally very nothing. straight. Yeah, I've been following it for like uh, nearly eight, like 80 miles uh, for the whole journey this road. So yeah, it's, it's long. Not much to see on this one to uh, take you along with, but yeah, we thought we'd uh, get in there about the way. Is there another one over there or not? No, it's that's McDonald's. Casey's and McDonald's. Oh. And here we go then, nice drive this morning. Yeah, really quiet, not much to see along the way though. I do prefer it when we've got some scenery. We've arrived here at Lost Island Theme Park. And of course, vlog will be coming up on Theme Park Worldwide. You yeah, know the score by now. We yeah, are really looking forward to this. And yeah, it's a theme park, not an amusement park this one. With Love some very sign. immersive theming. Yeah, look at that. It's like got a tropical um, vibe going on just here. But I uh, know, really, uh, really excited for it. As you pull onto the car parts. Yeah, this place only opened last year. It's brand new. Yeah, look at this. There's the SLC. We'll see how this one rides. But yeah, we'll get parts up. And of course, we will see you all later on. 
Well, we had our day at the Lost Island theme park. Absolutely awesome. And of course, you know by now, the vlog will be coming up over on Theme Park Worldwide. We're just on the Walmart car park, oh, aren't we now? Oh, we did. We just popped in to get some muffins. Yeah, a few uh, muffins, because it's been quite handy on the morning having our little breakfast muffins for this trip, um, which has been awesome. But So there we go, 10 parks in, Charlotte. I know, I can't believe it. Yeah, it seems to be going really fast for us, I think, because we're waking up every day doing new stuff, driving new roads, seeing new parks. It's going really quick, but uh, yeah. Anyway, we've got another drive tonight. We're going to be going one hour 45 minutes 97 miles um, to tonight's accommodation which is close um, to Adventureland Park where we're visiting tomorrow and so we're like 20 minutes from the park for so tomorrow. not far at all. Yeah so we'll be out to a bit of a lane in the morning. Uh, we should be there tonight for about 8.30 something like that. So again we'll have a good like 12-13 hours in the room. Really pleased that the itinerary is working out for us this trip. Well, we've been in America almost two weeks now, and yeah, we've not seen any rain. We've barely seen any clouds, to be honest. But yeah, we've had a couple of droplets of rain today, and yeah, it's really started to rain now, which yeah, we're not really used to. We haven't seen any, have we, Charlotte? It's yet. quite refreshing, though, when the rain comes down, because it's been so hot to have a bit of rain because it clears the air a little bit. Yeah, it does. I mean, it did say on the radio just scattered thunderstorms oh. possibly tonight, which will be interesting. Uh, so we'll see. But I'd rather have the rainy weather on an evening when we're not at the parks. But to be honest, we've done really well for weather so far this trip which you've been pleased about in terms of things to see along the way in <laughs> iowa it's mostly just crops isn't it really yeah all we've seen is crops after yeah. crops lots of farms lots of uh, water towers and that sort of thing lots of buildings a bit like what you can see on the left coming up over here like farming equipment machinery um, not the most exciting of uh, scenery along the way so far but you never know we may see something else before we reach tonight's hotel well, we've basically done a 90 mile drive through the fields there, haven't we, Charlotte? There was literally one. nothing to see. And here we go, we just arrived at tonight's accommodation, which is the Micro Hotel Inn and Suites just over here. There's what, about 10 cars on the car yeah, park? Yeah, there's not many here at all. Not very busy. Here we go, literally built just in the middle of nowhere, pretty much. I've not got high that. hopes for the internet oh. speedish. <laughs> here we go, let's go and get checked in. We'll show you the room. Well, we got checked in nice and easy last night here at the Micro Hotel in Colfax. And yeah, I just thought we'd give you a bit of a tour here of the room this morning. It's been really nice. We've slept so well. Oh, one of the best sleeps of the trip we've had here it's last night. Absolutely lovely. Yeah, I was unsure when we pulled up because this road's been quite busy out here, but I slept all the way yeah, through. I did hear a few bits of traffic, but I did sleep really well. Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. But yeah, here's the room. Massive mirror all the way along the back just over there. Look at the size of that, it's Charlotte. Massive. Huge, it's like three mirrors all joined together. Great for getting ready that. Two big beds, as you can see. <laughs> Separate beds again. It was night. a little bit warm last night, though. Wasn't yeah, it? it was. Yeah, and we thought we don't really like having the AC unit on because then you get too cold, and also a lot of the time the AC units just to feel a bit dirty, don't yeah, they? Like you know. Yeah, I put it on and it was a bit smelly, so we turned it off. Turn it off. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the AC units, but uh, yeah, this room uh, was great. You got the little seating area there. There's the car actually just outside, really? and then you got this telly up here, which is quite funny. I thought it was just on a slant, but. Actually, uh, oh. spins. There you go. Just like that. <laughs> it's quite cool, isn't it? Wardrobe, desk area, all the way across here. And the internet in here has been fantastic, so which I was that. very pleased about. We've got something funny to show you in here. Here we go. Let's have a look inside the bathroom. So, this is oh, the like rag. an aeroplane taking off. The rack. I may be a towel that stands alone. Use me for makeup, windshields, or chrome. I can clean your shoes, clubs, or bag. Housekeepers call me their favourite rag. When I'm grimy and beyond your use, throw me on the floor. I'm used to abuse. Rag everybody. <laughs> that's quite funny, that, isn't it? It is, isn't it? There you go, yeah, and that's a look at the bathroom. That's quite funny how that's on there, isn't it? The rag. Bath just down there. And there you go, that's the room. But yeah, this is the final part of this travel vlog. We're going to be wrapping up at Adventureland just on the car park there. It's only about a 20 minute ride, so we'll get a little bit of footage along the way. In 800 And feet. here we go then, we've arrived here at Adventureland. Yeah, very old school entrance sign there. And got a bit of a kind of Magic Kingdom look about the <laughs> sign just there. And yeah, as you'll see in the vlog, um, it's got a few Disney kind of references inspired by Disney this part just here. I don't think the uh, the parking lot is open yet, is it, by the looks of it? I think it's just moving the coast. Oh, is it? Oh, here we go. Well, we'll get parked Keep up right. and we will wrap up this travel vlog here on the Sandbrook Adventures. We're getting to see a little bit of the skyline over there, not loads, but yeah, it looks quite old school. I love it.
And there we go, we've arrived here on the parking lot at Adventureland Resort. And uh, yeah, that brings us to the end of this travel vlog. I tell you what though, we've covered a lot, we've seen a lot along the way. What's been some of your highlights? Oh, it's got to be the Chick-fil-A with the big <laughs> cow. It was so funny. Oh, it was such a great moment that was. We thought we were just going in for a nice meal. I mean, we like the food at Chick-fil-A anyway. And then uh, sit down and Charlotte's like, there's a big cow over there. Yeah, like, like, scooted me along oh. and then moved my train and sat next to it. It was brilliant. <laughs> along with that, we had a bit of a tour around Target. So you some of the stuff in there. Uh, and of course, stayed in lots of different accommodation um, had some lots of travel some views along the way we've seen some random stops and there's going to be a lot more of that coming up because we're about to start our next travel vlog aren't we yeah we're going to the outlets hey yeah there's some outlets around here so that's going to be coming up next uh, that'll be the start of the next travel vlog here on the sandbrook adventures and of course make sure you head over to theme park worldwide um, to see all of our theme park vlogs so far but so uh, we've got lots more coming up across both channels thank you very much for watching and, and have your own adventures. adventures see you in the next video